Hi everybody, I'm Ms. Helen from the Riverdale Public Library. No, I'm not a unicorn. This is just a really cool hat. Um, but I'm here to talk a little about unicorns because unicorns are going to be part of the opening show of the 2021 Summer Reading Program. And the show, which is online this year, is called Unicorns Break the Cage. And it's about two kids who visit the zoo and they discover all of these incredible animals, including a horse that believes he is a unicorn. You know, I put this on my head, that doesn't mean I'm a unicorn, but he thinks he's a unicorn. And he and the other animals have to come up with all these plans to escape because they have, there's a really bad zoo owner. So it's a really exciting video show and you learn a lot about animals and it's a bit silly and you'll see a little bit of a preview at the end of my show today. So my show today is a virtual visit from the public library to talk about the summer reading program. And like I said, this Unicorns Break the Cage show is our opening event. It is on July 12th, and you can register it for it through the library on the library webpage. All of the programs we're doing this summer are online, are on the computer, um, and, and you sign up for them. Um, but you can visit the library to pick out books. I will be here, Miss Geneva will be back in about a month, and we can help you find books and recommend books um, that you're looking for. Um, and we are also in charge of giving out prizes because if you have done the summer, a summer reading program before, you know that you earn prizes, that every time you read, depending how, how long you've been reading or how big the book is, you get points. And after a certain number of points, you get a prize. And then as you earn more points, you do more reading, you get more prizes. So all summer, as you read more and more, you earn prizes and you can read anything you want. Um, so to, to earn points with the library. And the theme for this year's summer reading program is Tales and Tales. So this unicorn break the cage tale is part of that theme. And we also have some other programs related to the theme Tales and Tales. And I will tell you a little bit more about them. Um, Let's go on. So that one is the opening event. And we also will have an event on July 29th. Now, if you like magic tricks, that event is for you. If you want to see or learn how to make origami, origami animals, that's also for you. Um, the performer, um, Mr. Yasu Ishida has done his shows all around the world. He's a really great performer. He is a magician, he is a storyteller, and he's an origami artist, and his shows all incorporate the art of Japanese storytelling. So he tells Japanese folk tales, and this year it's going to be animals, folk tales about animals because of our theme. And um, and at home, you, you will get some origami paper and you can, do, you can make an origami animal. He's going to show you what to do. But it's just a great show. You know, like I said, he does magic, he does storytelling. It's, it's really a lot of fun. Um, and, oh, we have one more before that. On July 22nd, we have another animal program, a painting program from Ms. Lynn. She's our guest artist. And she is going to have, show you how to make an imaginary animal by combining real animals. Like she made this one, looks like part lion, 
our elephant, even has wings. So she incorporated three different kinds of real animals to make this imaginary one. And you'll work with her in her workshop in making your own imaginary animal and making up your own tale about it. So in this, in this workshop, you're, you're not just painting the animal, but you're also making up a tale about it. You really get to use your, your own creativity, not just hear from somebody else. Um, and so we, and we have another event on August 4th, and that one is only for kids up to second grade. Um, it's our Noah's Ark stuffed animal. It's one of our Noah's Ark stuffed animal making programs. Um, this one involves sharks. So that's up to grade two. Okay. Now for some older students for grades three up till entering sixth grade, we have a program that's not related to the summer reading program, but it actually starts around the same time. It is on June 28th. And um, it is a program with the first book in the Nathan Hale's Hazardous Tales series. And if you are grades three to five or just finishing fifth grade and you sign up, you get a free copy of this book to keep. And you'll also get a chance during the program to win another copy from this series. Now, if you've seen Nathan Hale's Hazardous Tales, the idea is, is that Nathan Hale, who was a spy during the Revolutionary War, he got caught. And as they were about to execute him, he gets swallowed by a giant history book. And when the history book spits him out, he's learned about a new episode in history. And he tells you all about it in cartoon form. So it's a really fun and funny way to learn history. So for the Nathan Hale program, we're going to be talking about the book, make, doing our own um, graphic history drawing, and playing a game where you can win a prize. And, and not only that, I'm going to try to teach you how to be a Revolutionary War spy. So they used certain techniques in spying, and we're going to learn a couple of those. So um, that program is limited to 15 people, so, and you do have to sign up for it. And it is on Zoom. So any programs that involve Zoom, we'll send you the, if you register, you get the link a few days before, and you're ready to go. Um, so just to end, don't forget, if you can come by the library, that'd be great. You can get a Tales and Tales reading log. Um, you don't have to use a reading log, but it will help you track your points. Um, you, you actually will use the computer to track your points. We, we use a site called Read Squared. Some of you may have used it before. And that helps you track your points, and, which, and it lets you know which prizes you're going to get. Or when, when you, and how many points you have when you're going to get a prize. And you will be getting instructions for this in digital flyers. You'll be getting flyers about online about the programs I was talking about. And, um, and there, there's information on the library website. And if you come into the library, you'll see a display case showing the prizes you can earn. Some of the prizes you can earn are also books. If you decide you don't want one of the prizes we have, um, you can come pick a book. We have a really big stash. We have like two or 300 books. So um, all kinds of things there. So anyway, it, it, even though the program starts June 29th, um, you can sign up now. And the first 25 people who sign up will earn a free book just right there. So I'm going to look at the Read Squared site. I'll see my first 25 people, and then you can come and pick a book to keep. So um, the first 25. And the last thing I'm going to do is, um, since we're talking about, here we go, tales and tales, I made a bulletin board with a peacock because really nothing has a tail like a peacock. 
And if you have signed up for the reading program, um, come by the children's room in the library, and you'll see that big peacock with, but it only has part of its tail. So you can take one of these, um, use some peacock-like colors, purple, blue, green, turquoise, um, write your name on it across, and color it, leave it with me if I'm here or Ms. Geneva, and if we're not here, you can leave it on our desk and we will take it, the feather with your name, and we will add it to the peacock. So I'm hoping that by earlier in the middle of the summer, we will have a peacock with a really big tail and all of your names on it. So we see who's in the program, everyone can see. And I think it'll look really good. So anyway, like I said, all of our programs this summer are online, but you may come by in person and borrow books. Um, and we'd be really happy to see you and make res recommendations. And, um, and you can tell us about what, what you're reading and what you like. So I hope to see you in the library. And either you'll see me, you'll see Ms. Geneva. Um, I'm here on Mondays and Tuesdays and sometimes on Wednesdays, and Ms. Geneva will be back in mid-July. So you, hopefully you will see either one of us. And if we're not here, you can ask one of the other librarians for help. So have a wonderful summer and happy reading. Have some fun reading. Um, and um, have, I hope you enjoy the prizes that you'll earn. And don't forget to sign up online. Like I said, go to the library website um, or the site www.riverdalelibraryreadsquared.com. And hope to see you soon. Bye, everybody.